Loma County is now the only Oregon County that has not applied to reopen under the governor's plan. But county leaders say they do plan to reopen June 12th if their application is approved by the state. And tonight, there's a new outbreak at a local business that's caused a new jump in cases locally. Jennifer Dowling going beyond the headlines tonight with more on the reopening plan and that outbreak that officials aren't naming where it's happening at, what business it's happening at. Jennifer? That's right. They haven't announced that yet. Uh, OHA is the lead on that, and they may uh, get into that in the coming days. Right now, we know that the county is still planning on reopening. Uh, they know that they ha have been an increase in cases. They wanted to announce a reopening today so that businesses could plan ahead. The county says that despite those increases in cases, they say because they have enough PPE, hospital beds, they're increasing their contact tracers along with their testing sites, they feel they should be given the green light to reopen. Thank you very much. At the Portland Sports Bar and Grill, bartender Cole Flora is busy with to go orders. News that Multnomah County is applying to reopen on June 12th is traveling fast. We are super excited because, I mean, even though it's a couple weeks away, it's a light at the end of the tunnel. County leaders plan to submit the application next Friday. So far, it's undecided whether commissioners would require the public to wear masks as part of that reopening. We have interest from the commissioners in looking into um, such a requirement. The news comes as the Oregon Health Authority is reporting 71 new presumptive cases statewide. Dr. Vine says a large number of those are coming from a newly discovered outbreak at a business in the Tri-County area. The OHA hasn't named that business yet. I can share that uh, Multnomah County has 41 confirmed uh, cases, and many of those are uh, part of this outbreak, and we are working closely together as a public health system. The state is the lead and uh, has promised uh, details uh, uh, in the coming days because this is a, uh, a, re a more regional situation um, that they referenced the uh, Tri-County area and the Willamette Valley, so more to come from Oregon Health Authority in the coming days. Despite that new cluster, the county is pushing forward. What we're trying to avoid going forward is hospitalizations and deaths and trying to balance that goal with uh, the need for people to return to work. Meantime, businesses are preparing for that return. I've got a whole like set of masks. It feels like the new accessory now. Cole says they've also installed new sinks and plumbing lines at the bar and have a game plan for keeping customers six feet apart on the patio. So we're going to get little partitions that have a blazer themed pendants on it to help rope it off and keep people from accidentally wandering through the patio or walking through. Just whatever it kind of takes to make sure that we can still do business and make people feel safe. And before the county can reopen, public health directors tell us that they'd like to get more contact tracers in place. They need more than 100, and they've told us that they are about at 48%, so they just need a few more to hit their goal of 50% before that reopening date on June 12th. Back to you in the studio. And we'll also continue to push uh, health leaders here to find out exactly where this new outbreak of 40-some cases uh, is now happening in Multnomah County, so stay tuned for that. Also.